It is the 16th of the 2nd, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and start on SOT.net. The Netherlands deep freeze turns Amsterdam canals into skating rinks. For the second time in three years, Amsterdam's famous canals have frozen. You know what that means. It's time to lace up the ice skates. U.S. hurricane force storm smacks Alaska, and if Alaska hasn't had a severe enough winter so far, uh, Alaska's wild winter has been relentless, with yet another hurricane-strength blizzard smacking the state yesterday. The lower 48 states have an unusually mild winter, but Alaska has been buried under snow and shivering in frigid temperatures. And I can contest to that. Uh, the snow we got a little bit uh, is melting <coughs> all day today. It was a beautiful day here in Iowa. Oregon's offshore earthquake of February 2012, one of the largest recorded in the state. A very unstable area out there. Uh, definitely been keeping an eye on it. If you don't have this 3D earthquake map, I will provide a link for the free download for that. Uh, it's been safe for me. I've been using it for uh, almost two years now. Peru earthquake magnitude 4.8. Eight earthquake in Lima and uh, a not fully understood disturbance rippled through Earth's magnetic field uh, for some reason not fully understood by forecasters and there's some contradicting uh, stories to this I'm going to get to later um, this is uh, space weather for reasons not fully understood by forecasters uh -huh, a disturbance rippled through the Earth's magnetic field on February 14th Perhaps it was Cupid's arrow. The impact sparked some sweet lights around the Arctic Circle. And again, I'll get to that story. And that's about all new they have tonight. Over to the Extinction Protocol. Magma plume volcanologists monitor swarm of new tremors under El Hierro Island. Uh, so the iron is gearing up still. And I'm getting reports that there are two vents now. Uh, two cones rising up. The submarine eruption uh, could be in progress could be in a progress of change while visible activity on the sea surface above the vent as well as harmonic tremor signal um, <clears throat> have nearly ceased. The number of earthquakes under the island increased sharply since yesterday. On 15 February more than 20 cakes, quakes were measured. Uh, most of the earthquakes are very small, well below magnitude 2, uh, but they're seeing more jacuzzi outbursts and they've got some really cool satellite pictures uh, on the El Euro site. I will attach a link to that as well. Uh, war drums. Heavy snow caused damage to Italy's historical landmarks. Heavy snow in recent weeks have already wreaked havoc across Europe. It is now damaging some of the continent's most recognized historical monuments. The Colosseum in Rome has been forced to shut down after small pieces of its walls crumbled away as a result of freezing temperatures. And uh, buildings in the historic walled town of... Uh, Urbino, a word heritage site, are reported to be a risk of collapse under the weight of snow. Just incredible things going on. And of course the economy and the war drums loom on. Uh, over to the watchers. <coughs> Geneva. Oh, um. Giovanna ravaged Madagascar and continues towards Mozambique. This is a cyclone that hit Madagascar. Of the disruption left behind by the tropical cyclone is still being assessed, packing heights, sustained winds about 120 miles an hour, uh, that's 193 kilometers per hour. The storm landed early Tuesday morning local time, a little south of Tamajania. <laughs> I'm killing these words. Uh, the storm also hammered the capital. And uh, it's on its way to Mozambique, and they had all the flooding from the last cyclone and stuff that went through that area. Water spout seen over Auckland, New Zealand. A large water funnel resembling a tornado has been spotted in Auckland's uh, Haraki Gulf yesterday. The thin tornado-like funnel apparently caused no significant harm as it swirled near the Auckland Central Business District around 4 p.m. And we've got some pretty dramatic pictures of that as well. Uh, subsiding geomagnetic storm with beautiful auroras and that's the one that hit on the 14th and uh, Mount Cleveland of Alaska dome grows 25% now 50 meters in size 
The lava dome covering the Mount Cleveland volcano in Alaska has grown by 24, 25% since last week. According to the Alaska Volcano Observatory, the dome was reported to be 40 meters across on February 6 and now has increased to 50 meters in size. Uh, the current lava dome is much smaller than the dome was before the last eruption. Uh, the volcano is still in an orange wa watch and uh, that volcano is ongoing, of course. Uh, here's that story I was talking about. Minor G1 gla class geomagnetic storm underway. Activity intensified due to crack in Earth's magnetic field. A disturbance rippled through Earth's magnetic field on February 14th. On several occasions, the sky was full of auroras from horizon to horizon, said photographer and aurora tour guide Chad uh, Sweden for spaceweather.com. An update to the story came today when a report that geomagnetic activity intensified even more on February 15th when the interplanetary magnetic field, that's the IMF, near, near Earth tilted south, opening a crack in the Earth's magnetic field. Solar wind poured in and fueled a minor G1 class uh, storm. And they're saying the winds were really down when this happened, so uh, lucky for us, we weren't in a full blunt of a CME when that happened. Uh, just some incredible things going on. Over to the Ice Age now, they're covering... Um, Temps in Macedonia drop to record low. People are freezing to death. Uh, Georgia, coldest day in 40 years, and that's the, the old state of Georgia that used to be in the Soviet Republic uh, off the Black Sea. And uh, the capital city, city registered a temperature of minus 9 degrees Celsius on Saturday. Unprecedented freezing weather continues in Algeria, Africa. Shortages in staple food and heating gas. Worst, worst weather in decades torments the Balkans. Thousands still smoke, snowed in. Journalists still calling it a cold snap. And snow depth re reached 21 feet. That's 6 meters in eastern Turkey. Um, and that's just paralyzing. Road shut down the works. <clears throat> And, of course, the Italy, the storm of 2012. Uh, it seems reminiscent of the Valkino estate and David Lean's Dr. Zhivago. And, uh, of course, freezing temperatures negativ negatively impact crops in western Guatemala. And freak cold in the Andes kills hundreds. That's in South America. Uh, the experts see the fingerprints of global warming, of course, so they went ahead and put their spin on that. Uh, we all pretty much know better by now. Over to the RSOE quick, they've got a couple other things going on. I've got a big snowstorm out of China. And uh, in the Tibetan area. And of course, flooding in Australia, the state of New South Wales, and the state of Queensland still reporting severe weather, weather and flooding. Uh, that's about all climate change I have for you tonight. Over to the nuclear stuff. I'm just going to touch base on e, e News tonight. Senior scientist, irreversible heart damage for children with 50 becquerels of kilogram of cesium-137. And uh, they're just uploading the baby food formula up to 100 kilograms or 100 becquerels per, per kilogram as safe. Experts warn today there's a high possibility of strong inland quake hitting Fukushima plant. Water 150 kilometer deep may seep into fault, triggered, triggering massive tremor, and that whole area is unstable after that 9.0 quake, and it's and it's still shifting and uh, sliding into the Pacific Ocean ever so slowly. Uh, evidence linking nuclear plants to ill health increasingly compelling. Clear something is going on, says Professor. UK government blames unidentified virus for childhood leukemia rise. Uh, and again, when they call it an unidentified virus, that means uh, it's an official I don't know. And uh, evidence leaking nuclear... Oh, there, there you go. Germany is not restarting nuclear reactors due to cold, as widely reported. In fact, now massively exporting electricity to help nuclear-powered France this winter uh, is coming off of Reuters. And so uh, that just goes to prove we do not need nuclear energy. It is a crime against humanity, and they need to shut every single one of those reactors down now. We will never get rid of this. 
Radiation spikes throughout greater Tokyo area on February 14th, one of the highest seen in months. This is government data, and I remembered uh, I was putting out the reports of the pollen being uh, radioactive, and uh, it's just that time of year for Japan. Um, there would be a hazard around eastern part of Japan, 60 hours of emission blowing southwest over Tokyo forecast last March. And uh, this was during the big explosion and stuff. Just how much radiation did Tokyo get? Uh, we'll probably never know the official numbers. And uh, that's about all I'm going to cover on that tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please uh, leave your comments or attach your videos below. Uh, thanks for all your support, everybody. Enjoy what you can.